Thank you for joining me for another banger video. Today, we're going to settle once and for all which martial art is the most suspicious. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean like, say your son took up one of these martial arts. You would say to yourself, hmm, Timmy really enjoys male company. Before we start, wrestling is going straight into S tier. Wrestling is incredibly sus. I mean, you only have to look at the homoerotic unitards. And let's not even try and argue, okay? Just Google what an oil check is before you even think about arguing with me, okay? All I'm trying to say is, these wrestlers are awful quick to get the back taken, you know? Happens a little bit too easily. Boxing. Boxing isn't very sus. But, boxing fans, and the business of boxing, that's pretty sus. Whenever a favourite fighter of a fan loses, it's always a fix, and that's a sus attitude. The business of boxing is worse, however. The business of boxing is choosing the easiest fights to protect your fighter and pad out his record, and it robs fans of really ever getting to see a fight that's meaningful. That's why boxing is going in B tier. So picture this, you're in the club, you slide on up to a baddie, you start mapping, but she's got a fella, and now he's pissed. He challenges you to face him in single combat, and you, being an absolute giga chad, obviously accept. You follow him outside into the alley where you square up, but just before the fight can begin, he drops to his back and spreads his legs real wide for you. That's pretty sus. And that's why Jiu Jitsu is going all the way into S tier. <laughs> Sumo. Two big rotund fellas trying to push each other off a table or push each other over. Nothing really sus about that. But the nappies. They're a little bit sus. I think. Probably C tier. Aikido. Now, any martial arts uniform that consists of a dress is automatically pretty sus. But, Aikido is special. Aikido has, let's say, especially frilly dresses. And we all know frills are pretty sus. The martial art also consists of holding onto your opponent's wrist and fingers, you know, how a gale fights. All in all, that's a little sus. In fact, it's quite sus. All in all, that's quite sus. So it's going into A tier. Not quite the sussiest, but that's pretty sus. What can I say about karate? Karate has a lot of variations and different schools of thought with their own diverse, literal, philosophical and physical differences. But we don't really give a shit about any of that. Okay? Because it became popular in the 80s. And we, we can't lie to ourselves, okay? The 80s, they were pretty sus. Jean-Claude Van Damme? Pretty sus. All I'm saying is, there was a lot of big sweaty dudes rubbing up on some big sweaty dudes in the 80s. And everyone was for it. The 80s were pretty sus. Muay Thai isn't very sus. But, there's a lot of holding your opponent. A lot of Pulling your opponent's head into your chest so he can feel your heartbeat and your warm embrace. That's a little bit sus. But it's still not too sus. You can hold your bro. C tier. Kickboxing isn't very sus. And unlike Muay Thai, there's none of that face to chest action. But it's worth noting that Israel Adesanya was a kickboxer. And he represents kickboxing and for that simple association we're going all the way to west here i'm sorry kickboxers don't blame me blame izzy taekwondo the art of kicking it's an easy d tier for the simple reason that when you're trying to defend yourself from a group of sussy fellas you're best using your longest weapons so kicks are really the only way to avoid a man kiss on the lips if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving it a like. Leave me a comment down below on what tier list I should make next. 
Uh, and don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell. I got more banger videos coming your way. Thank you for watching all the way until the end. Peace and love. I'll see you around.